Okay, after we install the UV UV control system and the the uh, the one Q fan, then we can start to start to power on the machine. Before we power on the machine, we need to be sure everything's okay to prevent when you power on the machine the printer get damaged. So first we need to open the print head cover, carriage cover. There are two screws on the in front, one, two, and two at the left side, right side here, and one at left side here. And this these two screws are no need to release, and the left the two side no need to release. So we take out the print head cover. Then we can see here inside this uh, uh, carriage, inside the print head damper, print head cable, and UV lamp. Because for safety delivery, so we are not we will we will not install the print head at the machine. So when you got to the machine, actually the print head and not installed is is at the package. So so there's no print head inside, and the damper also not installed on the print head. So before we power on the machine, before we load the ink to print, we better for safety we need to do the uh, motion test without print head and without ink. So because if you power on the machine and the machine get the problem, so but but you actually actually installed print head and ink already. So if print head get a problem, it will be cost you to 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 clock the print head. So first we no need to install print head and install the, the damper. But before power on the machine, we need to check the cable here without connect print head. And then we also need to check if the cable all are connected well with the, the carriage board. So we need to open the top carriage board cover. Also have a four screw at the left side, one, two, three, Four, four screw to loosen it, then we can take out the front cover. So when we take out the cover, we can see the, the cable or connected wire. Like this, we must be sure all the cable are not loosened or not bent. Not bent, but we must be sure it's fastened wear and connect wear. Or if you pop on the machine, it will be caused the problem for the carriage board. Here is the carriage board. From here, we can see some cables. This is the optical cable that connect from the main board on the bottom. And here is the in-court sensor. in -court sensor port and here is for left limb the sensor here is for home limb the sensor and here is the power supply port to power on to power, to get power for the carriage board and here is for connect the print head the print head cable so later i'll teach you how to how to install print head cable but for first for testing the motion so we just be sure When you get the when you get the machine, the print head is not installed because for safety delivery. So we, before you power on the machine, first we be sure the another side of the print head cable here are all are safety protect by the tape because we must be sure when we power on the machine and if uh, the two cable uh, the pin here are uh, go touch it like this, it will be short the print, print, print board electricity system if we power the machine. So before we power the machine, we must be sure all the print head cable here, no connect print head and all the cable another end are 
protect tapped by the tap. Totally six, totally six cables. Oh, must be sure. And no print head installed, and the damper are not installed. Load ink. After that, we need to be sure the sensor as before. The sensor in transparent in code sensor are not not scratched, but but the sensor. We must be sure the sensor and the transparent fill are not scratched by any any spare parts must be transparent, clean and not bent. And also, before we power the machine, we need to be sure the carriage can move from the left to right freely. And from left to right also freely without anything to block the carriage moving. And the table will not detect, will not block the carriage to moving to scratch the, the metal, the carriage. Also, we must be sure the motion position of the top printer will not blocked at the both side. Also here, because inside is the both screw and the, the linear rear. The both sets are not, don't have anything to block the motion. Also the table is clean. So, be sure everything and not block the motion and the cable are not close for each other then we can plug in the power to the machine this is the power port for printer and before before we power on the machine we need to be sure the machine voltage because it, different countries have different uh, voltage standards 110 voltage and and 220 voltage so must be sure and ask our focus support team to be sure the the voltage is suitable for your machine be sure the the power is safety and the cable is connected where we can start to power the machine before we power the machine must double check again for the table moving down and not block the carriage moving and the table is clean and we power the machine when the machine powered down the carriage move to home position and we are moved to front automatically and stop automatically when it detected by the front limb sensor and then the carriage move back to home position for flushing. But if you if you if you not open the software, software, control software, it will be not move back a little bit. Then we go to see the front panel to be sure it's your ready. If here is your ready that means the machine power will succeed and also on the top of the carriage board the status code show zero zero means ready for print then we go to open the control software on the computer This is the control software. We click off.